have an upcoming road trip with your baby or toddler, and you wanna know a few tips and tricks from a parent who's been there, well, keep watching, cause I've got you. My name is Ashley and I am a pixie dusted mom. I am all the time sharing videos on tips, tricks, and hacks to taking a toddler to Disney, as well as traveling with a baby and our vlogs of our fun adventures all along the way. So I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel, as well as if you enjoy this video, learn something you didn't know, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. It really helps to support the channel and spread this video to other parents who are road tripping with their littles this summer. I'm going to divide the video out into my tips, my toddler must-haves, and then my baby must-haves. So you guys can check out the links in the description box below to jump around, as well as everything I mentioned, I will have linked in the description box for quick, easy shopping because I know you guys love links. First tip that I have is to plan some extra stops along the way. Now I'm not talking about stopping to just eat and then get back in the car or stopping to change the diaper and everybody pee and then get back in the car. I'm talking about some longer, relaxing, 45 minute to an hour long breaks, like stopping at the rest stop and relaxing and playing and putting down a little blanket. And if you have a baby, letting them get some wiggles out and some free movement time, not being cramped up in that car seat, your toddler, letting them run around, pick some flowers, like kick a ball. We like to take this. This is one of our must haves, but this helps so, so much. We can stop and play with that. And so it's nice. We can have a little picnic, maybe grab food and then have a picnic lunch. But that is one thing be sure to add those in. I would highly recommend stopping every two to three hours. That way little ones can get some wiggles out. Everybody can get a break. And honestly, those will help you be a lot happier and everyone be a lot happier once you arrive at your destination. Tip number two is to make a family playlist. Now I'm not talking about 12 hours in the car listening to your toddler's favorite tunes, but mix it up. We like to throw in some of my toddler's favorite music, my husband and I's favorite music, and we make a mashup and then literally we'll have one is her songs like one song is hers one song's ours and so we will alternate those so it's like everybody gets a little bit of what they wanted and one person isn't going insane because they've heard nothing but the bluey theme song for the last 12 hours that's not a fun time for anyone. Tip number three is to leave as early as possible. If you know when your kids get up, if they typically get up at 6.30, if you can have your suitcases, you ready, cooler packed, lunch packed, whatever it is that you have to get together to get bottoms in the car and hit the road, do it. Try to be prepared. That way when they wake up, you can just brush their teeth, get them dressed, do whatever you want to do to have them ready to go and hand them some breakfast and put them in the car. And so that way it will help you kind of get down the road a little bit longer instead of waiting till everyone wakes up and then packing and trying to get out the door that way. Tip number four kind of goes along with that last one, but it's pre-packing the car. Try to do as much of that like the night before when your little ones go to bed, anything that can be packed up and put in the car, do it, have it ready. That way when you get up, it's one less thing you're having to do when you're maybe early and it's sleep you're sleepy still. And so that will make your life so, so much easier and it'll make it a lot smoother. All you maybe have to grab is the diaper bag and your purse or your wallet or whatever, and then you can get in the car and go and make it a lot less stressful on yourself that morning. And then tip number five is know that this is probably going to take a little bit longer than your last road trip. If you are used to pre-baby, pre-kids road trips and you've never done one with your littles before, just know it may not be as fast as you're used to. It won't be just pee and get back in the car and keep going like we talked about earlier in that first tip. You're gonna wanna relax and chill a little bit because if you're honest with yourself, even those quick in and out little trips and grab coffee and get back on the road kind of things, you're really exhausted after a long day of driving like that, especially if you have a long way to go. If you are taking a 10, 12, 16, whatever hour road trip, that's a lot of time in the car and it's tiring and it's just, yeah, it's a lot. So just know it's gonna take a little bit longer, plan for those breaks if you need to stop overnight and be able to rest and then drive the rest of the way the next day. Be prepared for that and just factor it into your budget so you can kind of know, all right, we're gonna spend about this much on a hotel and have a little bit of sanity and rest on the way. Now we are on to the toddler must-haves. The first one on my list is this one. 
and this thing literally straps to the car seat and it is a nice little tray this one has princesses but they also have a toy story print that you can get but it's got a little bungee spot here for them to put their sippy cup there's little pockets so you can put crayons and things down in there and you can even we don't always do this but you can buckle it to the car seat just depends on your preference and what you're comfortable with obviously but it's nice and soft so nothing like super hard that it's gonna be like hitting them in the face if something were to happen but this is really fun and cool and so we like this a lot and use it on our road trips all the time because it gives her a nice spot to put her food or even like coloring or reading books and things so this thing is really really helpful our next toddler road trip must have is this thing now this is amazing it comes with the paper itself for her to use Use, but then it also has all of the color wonder markers there so this is mess free coloring if you've not been familiar with this welcome to the club this is the coolest thing you will ever buy when it comes to coloring products for your kids because they cannot be coloring all over their car seat all over the seat if you're in a rental car you do not want colored like windows or doors or anything so this thing is absolutely amazing and I cannot recommend it enough another great toddler road trip must have is play-doh i pick these little packs up at the target dollar spot but you can get these anywhere you can get regular bottles you can bring your own from home like whatever you want to do but these are great slip down in the backpack and they can play and have so much fun making all kinds of little things with this play-doh and this one actually smells nice so you get a little bit of an air freshener in with the mix another thing we love our sticker books this is one of our favorites it's the little create a scene so you've got the stickers in the front and then when you come back here it's got little different scenes from the Minnie Mouse show the happy helpers and everything so this one is a huge hit with our toddler another fun thing are just actual books now this one is a hide and seek book so if you're maybe sitting in the back with your toddler you can kind of read along and have them to find the little hidden objects but if they just want to flip through the book and look at it my daughter will sit and pretend to read this for quite a while and so anything to get a little bit further down the road without a tantrum or a meltdown if anything is great in my book so no pun intended but books are great <laughs> another fun activity are these little water reveal kits now this is just a little water fill paintbrush and so all you would have to do is when you stop at a rest stop or something fill it with water you can use bottled water whatever you prefer just fill it up and then they can paint over and over again once these dry they can do it again and again and again and it's so much fun for them they love it and it's just water so it's not leaking paint or anything everywhere and so it's nice and car seat friendly so definitely recommend these and then another thing my daughter loves is this thing it is one of those little pets you can open it up giraffe and it will tell you hold on activities move and so it talks to them and like tells them little things about it. And so this thing has kept our toddler very occupied for quite a while on a road trip. I think she played with this thing for a solid hour and a half. Now I'm not saying that you will get that. Your mileage may vary. Open the book. Your mileage may vary with this little guy as well as your sanity, but it does help to have things like that that you know your toddler is going to enjoy. And then last but not least in the toddler category is this guy. Now I know for some parents, this is very controversial and people like screen time, they don't like screen time, they wanna limit screen time. Um, this is our last resort. This is everything has failed, we're an hour away and we are falling apart kind of situation. So we pull out this guy. Um, this is my daughter's Amazon tablet and so we really like it. It's kid friendly so we can preload some of her favorite shows and games and things on here so she can play and enjoy that. And then if we need to, we do have headphones. We have the wired kind but they also make Bluetooth but I will have all of these things linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of it out. And now we're on to the baby category. These are just a few of my road trip must haves for a baby. These little guys are your best friend. We like to have a few different ones so we can switch it out, but we have a little Dumbo and then a Minnie Mouse. They also make a mini Mickey Mouse version. So if you have a little man that likes Mickey Mouse, you can do that. And then we also have this little Bo Peep. All of the crinkle stuff, you guys. My daughters, both of them have loved crinkle. And so these things really help to keep them occupied. They do have the little hooks here so you can attach it to their car seats. And so you're not having to worry about them like accidentally kicking it out and then crying because they dropped their toy. But that really helps. And so definitely recommend having a few of these 
little guys in your arsenal because they are so helpful. Another thing we like to have as our babies have gotten a little bit older are these little books. These are so much fun and they love just kind of playing with them. She'll chew on them. She will do a lot with these things. And so they're cute to have and she really likes them. And it's another thing to keep her occupied. And then because babies don't play with a lot and honestly, when, especially they're in that first um, few weeks to about four months in our experience, they do a lot of sleeping when you're in the car. So that helps. So once they get a little bit older and they're able to start playing, this is one of the other few things that we like to take. And it's like this little crinkle book. It has little sprinkles to it. It's got pieces to chew on. It's got the little toys here on the end. And so it's supposed to squeak. I think that's broken. We've probably squeaked until we can't squeak anymore. But it is a fun little toy for a baby to play with. And so those are some of our little must haves. I know not as much in the baby category because they don't play with a whole lot at that age. And so a lot of times, like I said earlier, they're sleeping and so it's not as much to do, but having those few little toys definitely helps as well as all of the breaks in between. But that's gonna do it for my tips and tricks for a road trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as the red subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any fun adventures in the future. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.